Welcome back grade nines to Tuma Mina teaching. You are tuned in for your third and final lesson of term two. Sure, time flies when you are having fun. In this series, we've only focused on the economy section of EMS so far. This will be our first lesson where we engage the entrepreneurship section. All right, grade nines, let's hit the ground running. Let's take a look at what we will be focusing on in this lesson. If you are new to our channel, please go and subscribe so that you are aware of all the wonderful lessons we have to offer and you can go ahead and share it with your friends. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. In grade seven, you learned that there are three economic sectors. These are the primary, secondary, and tertiary sectors. Oh, hi, Kamba. It's so good to have you join us today. Would you like to help me teach these grade nines about the three economic sectors? I'm sure you do. The primary sector is where resources are extracted from the earth for production or immediate resale. Here, Kamfa is at a coffee farm looking for the best coffee beans to use at IKC. The secondary sector is known as businesses that create finished products by converting or transforming raw materials extracted from the primary sector. As you can see, Kamva is visiting a local factory that converts the raw coffee beans into coffee packs that he can sell or use in his business. Then finally, we have the tertiary sector that sells the products or renders services to customers. The final products that Kamva will use and sell in his business is loaded and on the way to IKC where it will be sold to customers. Let's take a moment and see to which economic sector these businesses belong to. Raise your hand to give your teacher the answer. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Well done grade nines, I am sure you made your teacher very proud. So all three economic sectors we had a look at directly affect each other and are dependent on one another. We call this the interdependence of three economic sectors. Products move through a chain of production from where it is excavated as a raw material, then manufactured into a finished product that is sold to consumers. Some businesses operate in all three economic sectors. For example, a milk farmer that milks his own cows, uses that milk to produce a finished product which is transported to a business and sold to customers. Some businesses may see it fit to take control of the primary sector so that they are not dependent on different suppliers. In other instances, businesses are dependent on one another to fulfill their various duties. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this concept. The primary sector needs products such as tools, machines or vehicles that are produced in the secondary sector to carry out their activities. The secondary sector requires raw materials from the primary sector to produce their goods for the tertiary sector. The tertiary sector needs manufactured goods from the secondary sector to sell to consumers or even dip different types of primary sector products 
such as fruits and vegetables. Additionally, businesses that render services such as hairdressers also require various products in order to render their service. The primary and secondary sector relies on the tertiary sector for services such as transportation, insurance or marketing. When we look at three economic sectors, we see that there is tons of work to do. Each sector requires specific skills to complete the duties in the business. The primary sector requires hard work excavating the raw materials for production. Here, physical skills are required, which laborers can learn as they work such as digging, fishing, or mining. In the secondary sector, there is a big responsibility to operate machines effectively and safely, as well as managing the factory plant. Here, we require physical skills and managerial skills. The factory workers will provide the physical skills as they work with the machinery and also may require formal training to operate them safely. The managers of the factory may lead the factory staff well so that they can complete all their activities effectively. Finally, the tertiary sector requires skills that can be used in offices or businesses. These skills are mental, organizational, and managerial skills. Let's use Canva as an example. In his business, he needs to solve many problems and also lead and manage his staff well. Great minds, now it's your turn. Match the laborers to the correct skill set and economic sector. You can go ahead and tell your teacher what you think the answers are. Also, pause this video so that you can complete it effectively. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hello? Shante, we have a problem. What's the problem, Kamva? More people are populating the planet, placing a bigger strain on the environment. The Earth's natural resources are under threat, as economic growth is usually at the cost of environmental protection. Okay, Kamva, I'll speak to you later. Yikes, this is a big problem. Businesses should take responsibility for their effects on the environment surrounding them. This is known as sustainable development. Sustainable development means to meet the basic needs of people today without ruining the chances of future generations. Many people live in poverty and need economic growth to ensure that even the poorest people survive. Businesses should create more goods and services by using fewer resources and producing less waste. Businesses that perform sustainable development well is Coca-Cola, which recycles every plastic or glass bottle they receive. Another example is Woolworths, which uses the black material bags for every shopping opportunity instead of plastic bags. Let's have a look at how the economic sectors can enact sustainable development. The primary sector businesses can make the best use of nature's resources, including water and land, as it reduces the sector's carbon footprint. The secondary sector businesses should also follow good practices to protect the environment and the consumers by creating products that can be reused or recycled. 
businesses in the tertiary sector should support green issues to sustain the environment. For example, by using less energy and electricity in the manufacturing process. To use and support energy efficient and environmentally friendly products and services. Let's put your knowledge to the test. Complete the table by filling in the missing information. We will put up the pause button so that you can complete this activity effectively. Well done, grade nines. We have just completed our final lesson for term two. I am so proud of you. Please remember to complete the self-marking assessment by scanning the code next to me. Also remember to revise all of our lessons for your June assessment. If you enjoyed this lesson, go and buy me or Canva a coffee. Until next term, bye!